If you're a horror enthusiast who plans to visit South Africa, you should know that this country offers more in terms of spooky adventures than you can imagine. Here are the top 5 spookiest places in Africa. Number 1. Kimberley Club Most people know Kimberley Club as a historic hotel located in the heart of Kimberley. And indeed, one glance at this hotel is enough to conclude that it's a definition of elegance and sophistication. But not everybody knows that Kimberley Club has one room, so-called the Reading Room, on the second floor, that's considered haunted. In fact, visitors to the hotel notice some paranormal activities from time to time, and some of them even have feelings of being watched. Number 2. Nottingham Road Hotel Speaking of haunted hotels, nothing can beat the Nottingham Road Hotel in KwaZulu-Natal. Even though the hotel has a reputation for being haunted by supernatural creatures, it seems like people in South Africa still actively use it. It's especially popular among families who visit their children who study at the famed Michael House School. However, the hospitality of the Nottingham Road Hotel isn't the only thing this place is famous for. Ghost hunters recognize this place as home to a ghost named Charlotte, who tragically died in the hotel. If you're brave enough, you should know that it's room 10, specifically, where she enjoys roaming around even today. Number 3. The Castle of Good Hope Ghosts rarely inhibit tourist hotspots like the Castle of Good Hope. But this historic site in Cape Town is an exception. This means that when you visit this bright yellow fort, you should expect to experience more than just a history lesson. One of the things that probably led to its haunted reputation is the fact that it was built in 1666 by the Dutch East India Company, which happens to be shaped like a pentagon. One of the spookiest things you can encounter in the Castle of Good Hope is the bell that rings on its own. Interestingly, you might as well see a mysterious black dog that vanishes as quickly as it appears, and a tall man jumping off the battlements. Number 4. Tokai Manor Another haunted place in South Africa that is definitely worth visiting for horror enthusiasts is Tokai Manor or the Manor House. This old and scary-looking mansion was sold in 1792, and its new owner, Andreas Tobers, hired a French architect, Louis-Michel Thibault, to construct and design it in the way it looks today. Today, as visitors say, sometimes you might notice unexplained laughter and hoarse noises, without any apparent reason. This usually happens at night. The reason is that the house is associated with the tragic death story of Petrus Michiel Eckstein, who died in Tokai Manor in a horse-riding accident on New Year's Eve. So, if you see a ghostly figure riding a horse at midnight, don't be afraid. Know that it's a normal visitor to Tokai Manor. Number 5. Uniondale Hitchhiker The final scary place in South Africa that you must visit is neither a hotel nor a mansion. Instead, it's just a part of the road in the small town of Uniondale, which became famous for its eerie legend of the Uniondale Hitchhiker. This haunting tale has been around since the 1960s, and as the legend says, there's a young woman hitchhiker on the Uniondale Road who appears and scares the passengers from time to time. Her identity is Maria Rue, a woman who died in a car accident. One motorcyclist even tried to talk to the women and offered her a ride, but people claim the ghost doesn't talk. Strangely, she might get into your car, but once you pass the road, she will disappear from the vehicle unexpectedly.